Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another video, as you can tell from the title. Um, I went for monochrome today. I wanted to go for purple and just felt like, you know, the whole purple vibe today. And as I was putting makeup on, I kind of started like envisioning this kind of e-girl but a little bit more wearable look. I, I, I don't know. This is what I came up with. Um, you know the whole e-girl trend? where you have like really rosy cheeks and a rosy nose and like it's super pink and it kind of looks like you have a cold but it's like cute and you know like your lips are also very like plump and juicy but soft at the same time because it looks like you bit a strawberry and it stained your mouth but still kind of that thing do you get what i mean and i also added fake freckles and even more than i usually do and i put them on my forehead as well and i blended them with my natural freckles that i usually use um, and yeah, this is, this is what came out. Um, I'm really happy with it. I, I tried to do the hairstyle, like this cute little hairstyle to kind of go with it, but I mean, I don't think I, like, I mean, I know I didn't really pull it off, um, because it's a bit crooked, but I tried to, you know, make it seem like it's not that crooked, because <laughs> I don't have a mirror and I don't have my glasses on, so I can barely see. Um, but yeah, I really like how it came out. It's very rosy, very pinky very very pinky for me and my liking i like like a little bit of blush i normally go in with the bronzer i didn't apply any bronzer on like my cheeks or anything i just applied it on the top of my forehead and on the neck um the rest is just blush so <laughs> yeah um without rambling really 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 you know so, um let's just go ahead and get started i really hope you like this Okay, so starting with the correcting, I am going to correct the inner corner with the Maybelline Super Stay Concealer in the shade 10 Porcelain. I believe it's 10 Porcelain, but it's Porcelain. And then I grabbed the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 3, and yes, it's a little bit too dark for me, but we're trying to make it work, so I correct again with that to make it blend onto the primer, the base. And I use a brush, a fluffy brush, to blend that out. And now using the Warrior 2 palette by um, Juvia's Place, I grab that bone shade and a flat shader brush and I just apply that right on my brow bone and my inner corner so I make that shade work, the base work, because it's a bit too dark, so yeah, work with what we have. Um, with the Warrior palette, I just grab that um, peachy shade, it's kind of also skin cooked, skin tone, well my skin tone, and I just blend it so it's a little bit more seamless. And then using that pinky shade, that's going to be my transition shade into the purple, um, because I don't want to just go ahead with purple, it's going to look like I have a bruised eye. So I like to blend those colors together. And then, with the star of the show, the Warrior 3 palette and that purple shade, <laughs> as you can tell there, I picked a little bit too much, so I got a little bit scared, I was like, shit, I'm going to ruin it. Um, but no, I just had to pat it and like deposit the color and then start blending because I had to be very careful otherwise I was going to mess it up. And yeah, just pat it, deposit the color and then start doing windshield wiper motions and circular motions. I am dragging the wing, the outer part of the look out further out than my eye socket so it's a little bit more dramatic and into kind of like this wing V shape. So yeah, I'm just going back and forth with the purple and blending it and then with a slightly more tapered brush and a little bit more dense one, I just pack the color on there and start blending into a circular shape, more or less. And then grabbing the pink that I use as a transition shade, I just blended that purple out onto like closer to the brow bone, not onto the brow bone, but closer to the brow bone, the inner corner of my brow. And then using the Morphe 35M palette, I grab that purpley shimmer shade and um, just pack it on my lid. That's a, like the shimmery base. That's what I wanted to keep on there. This eye look is really, really simple. I just used a few products. If you think about it, it's not too complicated. Um, so it's an easy way to grab your purples. I did have to use some setting sprays to get the intensity that I wanted, but um, because I wanted a little bit more shimmery, I did go ahead and grab another shade to use a halo effect. I'm just blending out the outer corner there. Um, yeah, from the Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill Vault Collection palette thing, I used the purple one and used the shade Bling Bling. It's like a pinky silvery shade, so it's gonna give me that halo effect that I want. And with the pink hues on the outside of the purple, it's perfect. So yeah, I just curl my eyelashes and then I go in with mascara and I got like a faulty mascara and it didn't come with the top. It's the same Lash Sensational mascara but I just, I don't know what that happened. That was just funny, I thought I would show you. I apply lashes and these are the B Bella lashes in the shade Revel Rush. Um, style, Revel Milk. 
and we're gonna have a little <laughs> break <laughs> i had to i just had to sing beyonce you know i had to a little bit like who listens to this song and every single time i listen to it i have to do this like i'm sorry i just i, I need a moment please give us a moment Thank you. Okay, so back to the video. Um, I'm just using a wipe, 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 a wet wipe to remove all the fallout, and then using the um, L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation in the shade 203, no, 201 Classic Ivory and 205 something. Glow. I mean, they're in the description box down below. I just set them with a foundation. Well, I placed them on my face with a foundation brush, and then buffed them out with the Morphe M439 brush, and I go back and forth and get the coverage that I want, that I desire. So yeah, just blending all that out, nothing new, <laughs> just buffing that out. And then I grab, because I removed the fallout, I also removed the concealer, so there was actually no point of putting the corrector, like, you, you know, there's no point. So I corrected again, sorry, that was my phone. Um, I corrected my inner corners again with the same Maybelline concealer that I used at the beginning. And then with the Revolution Conceal and Define, I go in, and go to town. I basically just conceal and highlight everything with this. I love this concealer, it's my absolute fave. It's like five pounds, four pounds or something, worth the money, and it's very intense. It's creamy, it's not drying, I absolutely love it. Highly recommend if you're in the UK, and if you can get your hands on it, yes it. So yeah, for blush, this is the star of the show for the face. Um, I go in with the Nip and Fab, um, I think is it rose gold? Um, liquid blush. Yeah, I just go in with that one and then a duo fiber brush to blend all of that out, apply it on my nose too. And then I just tapped a little bit of the, of, you know, the cream bronzer that I use, always use. It's um, a foundation. I just applied a little bit on my forehead and blended the blush out. And then I used the liquid highlighter and I blended all of that out. And then what I had to do is just grab the duo fiber and go over it so it's still pinky. Next, I'm just setting my under eyes and everywhere that needs to be matte and that doesn't necessarily need to be glowy or shiny or shimmery or pinky. And obviously I have to set my T-zone and my under eyes. They crease like a motherfucker and they get a bit oily on well, my T-zone. But yeah, I just have to crease, kind of like crease, <laughs> set my uh, T-zone so it's like, you know, in place and it won't move. And then I grab a powder brush and just go over my neck with it. Then for nose contour, I use the Gimme Some Sun palette and I use the shade Buff, I believe, to, you know, get that cute little pointed nose for the e-girl vibe because that's what I was getting from the look. And I did some contouring. And I have to do the jawline and my chin because we don't want a little chin, you know? And for bronze, I just did that on my forehead and on my neck so it would blend out the contour. And now for blush, I'm using the BH Cosmetics. Um, nude palette and I'm using that very pinky shade that I never use for this look because it needed to be intense now I'm sorry you couldn't really see because I covered it with a mirror my dumbass. sorry my bad um, I just went to town with this blush and yeah as you can tell it's very pinky and even with the light you can't really see it so I grabbed that nude to blend a little bit more of the blush out onto my skin. It doesn't look so intense. It doesn't look like I kind of have like those that tan Trump has like what the hell like I don't want to be carrot either so Yeah, I go in with the warrior 2 palette and um, the um, Cool brown shade and that's how I use to do the freckles I just grab an angled liner brush and just press it like this uh, angled liner brush is like Broken it's not thin or anything like that. I, ju I use this brush specifically for the freckles So I could just dot them messily all over my face and I like the shade specifically because it matches my natural freckles So I can blend them out and it all looks super natural Except when I do the more intense ones and that's why I go over the sponge um, Well like over the freckles with the sponge so it looks a little bit more natural and it has makeup on top because I have uh, freckles on my cheekbones. And then using a like a, any brown shade that you want, I go over the moles and any pimple that I have or texture that's a little bit too bumpy to like, you know, be smooth enough and look like, okay, your skin's semi flawless I kind of just create a mole. Again, go over it with a sponge. The sponge doesn't have anything. It's just dragging the product from the face that's naturally there. And brows, in case you were curious and wanted to see how I did my brows, I mean, everyone does their own brows and they have their own techniques, but if you want to see my fluffy brow tutorial thing, I've included them a little bit more in this video, so yeah, you can completely skip this part if you don't care. Um, I'd appreciate it if you watch though. <laughs> but yeah, I just used some soap and the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Chocolate Mousse. 
and I just comb, 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 and go back again with the brow pencil, and then I brush, 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 like it's the same thing, process over and over again, I just baby steps, because if you do too much um, in, from the beginning, it just goes too intense and it doesn't work out. And once I'm happy with the result, I go in with a little tiny bit of concealer and clean up anything that might have like, you know, come out of the brow, like any um, line strokes are way too far out and doesn't look natural, I clean up the bottom of my brow, and that's essentially what they look like. So. For lips, I use the Kylie, Kylie, I think this is the Kylie shade, liquid lipstick. If not, it might be Kylie, I'm not sure. And then the thing that I used to get that like really pinky, like stained effect was the Maybelline um, Super Matte Stay Ink, Super Stay Ink, Super, something like that. It's in the description box down below, that pinky shade. And I just blended it out with my finger sweeper, like just to get that like, you know, blended rosy stain effect. And it matched the um, pinky shade in my crease perfectly. So I was just like, yes, I'm feeling it. Everything's matching, um, even though it's very much pink for me. And then with the lip brush, what I did is I don't have any product on it. I'm just blending out the corner so it looks like a more nat natural lip line. And um, for gloss, I use the Dior Lip Maximizer in the shade 01. Is it pink? I think it's pink. I always get these shades wrong for some reason. But yeah, um, there again, I'm blending with the nude blush, um, all the shades, and then I do my under eyes. So for that, I do the exact same steps. I grab the pinky, and then I use this as a transition shade, and then I grab the purple with a very tiny um, shader brush, and it's flat, it's completely flat. And I just go under and create that line, like I join it. And for the inner corner, I didn't really like what I had put in there, as you can see. And I went in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and tried to use the pinky, did not like that either. So then I went in with the Morphe one and tried to blend that out. Still wasn't happy with the end result. I was trying to go for like a very like icy shimmery pink effect in the inner corner, but it just didn't work for me. Um, but you get the gist, you get the idea. So then I just apply um, mascara on my lower lashes, a little bit more of blush. And that, my friends, is essentially what I do for my, my face. Oh yeah, I forgot highlight. I completely forgot highlight. I'm so sorry, but yeah. Highlight, my nose, cheekbones, some setting spray, and wait, 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 wait. I just fanned myself. But yeah, this is the look. Thank you. So this is the finished look. I did my hair. I did like two tiny details up here, but they're not exactly even. I can't really see. Didn't put my contact lenses on um, for this, and the mirror's just way too far from my blind ass. So I tried my best. Um, it's the first time I do this hairstyle, and I don't know how I feel about it, but you know, I might be feeling it later. Um, yeah, this is the finished look. I really hope you liked it. Um, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, don't forget to subscribe, and also, um, if you could share it with your friends, or, you know, write me a nice little comment, I would really, really appreciate that. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next